This is the first generation top series pipette from Dragon Lab. The pipette has two stops, the first stop and the second stop. Now demonstrating the first stop. Next is the second stop. In standard pipetting, press to the first stop to aspirate liquid, and press to the second stop to dispense. First, adjust the volume. Be careful not to over-tighten the volume adjustment. Select the pipette tips that match the volume setting. Install the tip by gently twisting side to side, do not slam the pipette into the tip box. Rinse the tip three times before aspirating to improve accuracy. After rinsing, aspirate with the tip vertical to the liquid surface. Hold the pipette at a 90 degrees angle and immerse the tip slightly into the liquid. Release the plunger slowly to allow the liquid to fully enter the tip. After aspirating, touch the tip against the container wall to remove excess liquid. Dispense at a 20 to 40 degrees angle while keeping the tip against the container wall. In reverse pipetting, aspirate to the second stop and dispense to the first stop. Reverse pipetting is suitable for challenging liquids, such as foamy or viscous samples. To avoid cross-contamination between reagents, eject the tip after pipetting each sample. Frequent tip changes ensure experimental integrity. After use, set the pipette to its maximum volume and place it vertically on a pipette stand. One hand on the nozzle pusher. With the other hand, use the accessory tool to pry open the ring tool to remove the internal components. The ring tool can be unscrewed counterclockwise using the accessory tool. Before maintenance, use an alcohol wipe to clean the impurities attached to the internal components. Get a small brush and dip it in the attached silicone grease. Apply silicone grease evenly to each internal component. Note that the concave side of the seal faces up as shown in the video. Just assemble the pipette after the application is complete. Manually unscrew the barrel, remove the internal parts, and unscrew the piston. Manually unscrew the barrel, remove the internal parts, and unscrew the piston. Apply grease to all internal components and reassemble after lubrication. After greasing, reassemble the pipette. Disassemble the pipette and remove the outer shell. Remove each nozzle and apply grease for maintenance. Each nozzle must be greased and reinstalled. Pay attention to the alignment of small internal parts and springs. 